It's your favorite, Tisha Rozelle, and today I am back with just a quick video. I just want to talk about the back tattoo that I got because I've been getting a lot of questions. But before I get into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Snap, follow me on Twitter, and definitely follow your girl on the gram because I'll be posting some fire, you feel me? So yes, I recently, let me see, about three to four months ago, I got a back tattoo that I will insert a picture right here. Here. yeah the back tattoo this is the biggest tattoo i ever got um just a little story behind the back too a quick story the back tattoo is in chinese symbols but this the um message behind the chinese symbols are very very important my dad is a pastor if you guys don't know he's been a pastor for about five six years and my dad is the greatest man he's my superhero but um when as i was younger and I, as i would go through things and even now to this day as i go through things i will go to him and talk to him and you know get encouragement from him and he will always quote your scripture he will quote your scripture i can do all things through christ who strength and as i was younger i didn't understand what that means but now as me being a 23 year old woman i definitely do understand what that means you know it means it means many things but to me, it means that nothing in this lifetime you cannot accomplish if you don't put God first. Anything that's in your heart to do, if you put God first and through God, you can accomplish anything. You know, God doesn't sound that set boundaries on us. We set boundaries on ourselves. So, you know, that's just a message for anybody who's thinking that, you know, they can't do things or who's limiting themselves. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So yeah, so back to the story, but I thought about my tattoo. That's what it says. Now, I wanted it to say the full scripture, but it was too long in the Chinese symbol. So my tattoo actually says, I can do all things through Christ, which is okay. You know, I mean, it, it, it gets the message through. And um, in my tattoo, if you notice, I'm gonna insert another clip. On one of the branches, it has CEW, and those are my dad's initials. My dad's name is Curtis Eugene Watson. You know, I wanted to add a little personal touch to my tattoo, so you know, to the day that I die, I can always, if someone asks me what the tattoo means, or you know, I can, I can always tell them my dad instilled that important scripture in my heart because you know without him instilling that scripture in my heart i probably want to accomplish all the things i've accomplished to this day so yes about the tattoo oh yeah i love you dad about the tattoo um ooh, it took him about three hours three and a half hours four hours um to finish the tattoo this is the biggest tattoo i have ever got probably will be the biggest one i ever get not because of the pain tolerance the pain tolerance was od on a scale of one to ten i will say it was a 10 um but i did a trick that helped me that i'm gonna tell you guys at the end of this video but um yeah that's probably the biggest tattoo i get because i don't want to be you know all tattooed out yeah because you know i mean i already have a number numerous amount of tattoos guess comment down below how many tattoos you think i got and if you guys want me to i will do a video on how many tattoos and piercings i have because they're numerous so yeah i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna get a tattoo again because i'm kind of itching for one right now but as far as me getting a huge tattoo like the one i got on my back this will probably be the biggest one i ever get um and tattoos are expensive i ain't gonna lie i didn't spend over a stack on tattoos way over a stack you know that could have been but anyway, yes, um, the tattoo took about four hours, um, the, re the recovery process, and the first day, my whole back was numb, um, every time I moved, it would hurt, you know, like, if I try to lift my arm up, it would hurt, because the tattoo covers my whole back, so if you're getting, if you're going to get a back tattoo, just prepare yourself for the healing process because to me the healing process was worse than the needle process needles don't bother me um then me actually getting a tattoo so yes the first couple of days i was really really stiff my skin was really irritated um and i would i had to have 
um, the guy I was talking to at that moment, which is now my boyfriend, I had to have him wash my back in the shower because you have to wash your back with the, you know, a, a, um, bacterial soap, which um, they recommend Dial, and I use Dial. So I had to have him wash my back with for two days, but after that, he wasn't allowed to, he wasn't able to be with me, so I kind of had to, you know, finesse and try to wash my back the best way possible. Um yeah and after you know about four or five days or a week when it starts to peel and starts to burn woo child that was the most difficult part to me of this tattoo it was burning it was itching it, and i couldn't scratch it. you had to pat it and then um he told me don't you he told me to use aqua for my tat man and matter of fact wait a minute shout out to Vail tattoo worthy i will put his name on the screen he is located in dover delaware he gets clients from everywhere i'm so proud of him he has came such a long way he did actually my first tattoo I got a matching tattoo with my best friend, Ron Jira. Hey, Bo. But, um, yeah, I got a matching tattoo with her. And he did that tattoo. You know, he did actually three of my tattoos. You know, but that's not as many as I got. So, like I said, comment below and let me know how many tattoos you think I really have. But, um, yeah, so shout out to him. He's a dope, dope tattoo artist. If you're thinking about getting a tattoo, my recommendation will be him. He did snap on my back. Period. Um, so, he yeah, said the pain... Um, on the 10 i would say 10 um but you can do it i even had men write me after i posted like oh you brave i want me to do it yes you can you can do it get you some food you know get you some music something whatever like just do something that's gonna get your mind off of that pain and it will go by just like that um yeah but my recommendation would be if this is your first tattoo you're getting do not get no big tattoo because you're gonna regret it just get something small and work your way up as i did um so yeah i'm about to wrap this video up but the last thing that i said i kind of did a little trick was i used numbing cream now yeah i chicken out i use numbing cream because i'm just like this tattoo is going to take multiple hours it's on my back i mm -mm. so i asked around a lot of people to, um about you know numbing creams i didn't i never used none i didn't want to waste my money i want to do they really even work and the question the answer is mm, i'm messing up the answer is yes yes numbing cream does work if you get the right kind the kind i got was dr numb off of amazon i forgot like 25 30 dollars it comes in a tube like this and um a little does go a long way now what i did i read the reviews and some people said it worked some people said it didn't work but for the people that said it did work, they did a couple of extra steps. What I did was the morning before my tattoo, or well, the morning of my tattoo, I went with my mom's house, my grandma's house, and I had them rub tattoo about two, three layers all over my back, and I wrapped my back with the silicone paper. Silicone, how you pronounce it? Yeah. Whatever. I wrapped my back with, with the, the little clear wrap. I wrapped my back with that, and I did that two hours, an hour or two before. The tattoo and like when i was putting it on when he's putting it on i felt that my back was numb and i was like oh shoot like this really work you know spend that 35 dollars says it's worth it it really really does work now when i got to um the tattoo place you know it took a little while because he still had to print on everything so time was still going on so if you don't want to feel no pain at all i would say even bring the tattoo numbing cream to your tattoo artist and you know have them put on a layer before y'all start that's where I messed up at. Um, I didn't put on layer before I started. So, an hour to hour and a half ish into the tattoo, I didn't feel nothing. All I felt was like a pin, you know, going up and down my back. It didn't hurt at all. Now, an hour and a half into the tattoo, I guess the tattoo cream started to, started to work, um, wear off, and that's when I felt everything. Now, like I say, tat, um, needles don't really bother me. So, you know, it hurt. I'm not saying it feel good, it hurt, but it wasn't an unbearable pain. It's not unbearable. Uh, don't let nobody tell y'all it's unbearable because it's not unbearable. You can, you can bear it. But um, if you are, you know, scared, I would definitely suggest getting numbing cream and getting the right type of numbing cream and doing it the right way. Don't put it on 10 minutes before you go to 
your tattoo appointment and thinking that you're not gonna feel nothing because that's just not how it works you know put it on the hour to two hours before and wrap it up so when you wrap it up you know it'll keep it in the, um you know in your skin and it'll keep it as, uh, absorbed in your skin as you wrap it up but yes that'd be all about this video and like i said before if you want me to write another, do another video on my tattoos and piercings, just to give you guys the pain tolerance, advice, and things like that, I would do it because I wish I would have watched, you know, someone do a um, review about the, some of the piercings that I got because um, very painful. But yes, follow me, subscribe, and stay tuned because your girl is going to be back on the camera more. You know, I miss filming. It's been so much going on in my life. It's been chaotic, but you know, God is still good and I'm still blessed. And so are you because you're watching and you're alive and you got breath in your body. So yes, remember, Tisha loves you, but God loves you even more. Be blessed and come back and see me soon.